Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy JDRFT and welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about something I've been thinking about very often. And it actually has been a thought recently, um, as in within the last couple of years. And it's the idea that you have to be alone, okay? And that you should be comfortable being in your own solitude. Hear me out, okay? We grew up as social beings, you know, social human beings, wanting to interact, wanting to talk, whether it's like with your family members, from friends you grew up from school or, you know, work, all that stuff, you know, you are built, we are built as creatures to want to socialize, which is completely normal, totally healthy, and we should definitely do it very often. The point of this video though, is I do feel like some people heavily rely on it to get through their day and that they could be doing more to impact their lives to want to progressively get better and you know obviously stick to doing it for example you know maybe someone is just out too often going partying you know going clubbing going to like different events and just go, just being outside too often or just maybe just even hanging out too often with people in general that takes away from the most important thing and that's from staying focused on what you want to work to build a better version of yourself think about it if you're always out when do you have the time to like be alone and to really think about the problems you have as a person right you're flawed you're very flawed okay and you know you have a lot of problems everyone has problems but if you never really take the time to sit down and think like, what am I doing wrong? What can I be doing better? And how can I improve? You're not going to get anywhere. Seriously. I've been told that many people have been told that you're just not going to learn to be a better person. If you don't take the time to understand what's wrong with yourself, seriously. And I genuinely believe once you do that, you will be able to conquer anything. You will be able to You'll be able to improve so much of life that you just, you know, like, you'll just be a better person. And I, I guess I'll be correlating this with, you know, achieving your goals and your dreams. Because how can you do that if you don't fix yourself as a person, right? For example, you want to be, let's just say, I don't freaking know, a musician, an artist, you know, in, in music, okay? Very, very basic. How are you going to do that? If you're always out, you know, if you're not focusing on your goals, okay, take it in. Everyone who worked hard in that industry, okay, 95 or like 90, I don't even know, maybe even 99% have sat in the basement, okay, have locked their goddamn door, sitting in the goddamn dark, re like rewatching videos on how to make music. Or if not, staying inside the music software, trying to learn the process of it so then they can make music and progressively doing it every single day consistently until they made a freaking banger. You know what I'm saying? Like, they did it through the hard work of being alone. And, you know, maybe they might have someone there. Maybe they might have a friend or like, like a group of people. But most of the time, you're always going to be alone. And... When you are alone, it's what you do with that time when you're alone, okay? You have all the free time, okay? Time is not your enemy at that point. Like, it's almost impossible to say that, okay? You choose when to wake up. You choose when to sleep. You choose when to eat. You choose when to go out and when to stay inside. If you choose when to be alone and stay alone and stay consistent to what you should be doing, you could literally do anything you want. You quite literally could be unstoppable. Okay, I'm not saying relationships, friendships, and just the people around you are holding you back, but I am saying that you should try to focus a little bit more on what's important, which is yourself, your alone time, your solitude. And I know some people have a really hard time trying to stay alone. You know, like they crave validation. They crave the social aspect of life. And it's fine once again at certain times. But if you really want to do better, you just got to be alone. And only then you will slowly improve on your flaws, on everything you should be. You'll improve on everything you should be working on. And, you know, 
like going back to the idea of being a musician, all of them are in a dark room, grinding the hell out of those hours, and they're only doing that because that's the only thing they're focused. You gotta stay focused. You gotta stay driven. And the only way you will stay focused is with no distractions. Block out all the noise. Okay? Don't don't listen to anything. The only thing that matters is what you're doing in your room. Right? And I, I truly believe this. That all the best things happen in the bedroom. Okay? Everything. You know, in the basement. In a room by yourself. With some sort of access to like technology or some access to information if you got a book if you got a computer a phone anything a newspaper with information on it you could learn so much you're not going to read a book talking to someone that just makes no sense how are you going to absorb the information and be able to process it it's just it's unheard of you've got to be alone for that you're always alone for that. And only then you'll be able to have thoughts that can translate into your actions. Okay? And once again, I'm no perfect person. I 100% have to be following that. I'm flawed once again. But at least having that alone time gives you time to think and reflect on your problems. And so then you can fix on them and be a better person. So, um, yeah, that's basically the end of the video. If you guys... You know, have any thoughts, please leave them down below. Um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.